Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about De Moivre's theorem. Now, De Moivre's theorem states that if n is any integer positive or negative, then cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta and if n is a fraction positive or negative then one of the values of cos theta plus iota sin theta all raised to power n is cos n theta plus iota sin n theta and it should be also noted that the modulus of cos theta plus iota sin theta is 1 and the argument of theta is such that minus pi is less than or equal to theta is less than or equal to pi. That is, the value of theta varies from minus pi to pi. So these are the cases according to the de Moivre's theorem. So first of all, let us discuss the case 1 when n is a positive integer. So let us start with the case 1. Now by actual multiplication we have cos theta 1 plus iota sine theta 1 the whole into cos theta 2 plus iota sine theta 2 the whole is equal to cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 plus iota cos theta 1 sin theta 2 plus iota sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus iota square sin theta 1 into sin theta 2 now iota square is minus 1 so it will become minus sin theta 1 into sin theta 2 now further this is equal to cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 the whole plus iota into cos theta 1 sin theta 2 plus sin theta 1 cos theta 2 the whole. Now we know that cos A cos B minus sin A sin B is equal to cos A plus B. So it will be cos theta 1 plus theta 2 the whole plus iota sin theta 1 plus theta 2 the whole as cos a sin b plus sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b. So by multiplying these two expressions we are getting the result as cos 
थीटा वन प्लस सीटा टू द होल प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा वन प्लस सीटा टू द होल सिमिलरली कॉस थीटा वन प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा वन द होल इनटू कॉस थीटा टू प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा टू द होल इनटू कॉस थीटा थ्री प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा थ्री द होल विल बी इक्वल टू कॉस थीटा वन प्लस थीटा टू प्लस थीटा थ्री प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा वन प्लस थीटा टू प्लस थीटा थ्री Now proceeding in the same way to the n factors. We get cos theta one plus eta sine theta one the whole into cos theta two plus eta sine theta two the whole and so on up to n factors is equal to. cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus so on up to n terms plus iota sin theta 1 plus theta 2 plus so on up to And terms. Now putting theta one is equal to theta two is equal to so on is equal to theta in the above relation. We get cos theta plus iota sine theta. All raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sine n theta. As on the left hand side of this equation, cos theta one plus iota sine theta one, and so on up to n factors will become cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power n. And on the right hand side, cos theta one plus theta two plus so on up to n terms will become cos m theta plus iota sine theta one plus theta two, and so on up to n terms will become iota sine n theta. Now we will discuss the second case when n is a negative integer. Now let us start with the second case. First of all. Let n is equal to minus m, where m is a positive integer. So in this case, cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power n will be equal to cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power minus m. Which can be written as one over cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power n. Now, using this result, which we have proved in the case one, as here m is a positive integer, so this is equal to one over cos m theta plus iota sine. M theta. Now this is equal to. Now we will rationalize the denominator, so it will be one over cos m theta plus eta sine m theta into cos m theta minus eta sine. 
m theta whole upon cos m theta minus eta sin m theta. Now this is equal to cos m theta minus eta sin m theta and in the denominator the multiplication of these two expressions will become cos square m theta plus sin square m theta as eta square is minus 1 and we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 therefore cos square m theta plus sin square m theta will also be 1. Now we have taken m is equal to minus m. So this is equal to cos minus m theta minus iota sin minus m theta because m is equal to minus m which implies m is equal to minus m. So this implies cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos now cos minus m theta will become cos m theta and sin minus m theta will be equal to minus sin m theta so it will become plus iota sin m theta now this is the result of case 1 and this is the result of case 2 so from the case 1 and 2 we get that when n is an integer positive or negative then cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. So we have discussed the cases when n is an integer positive or negative. Now let us discuss this case if n is a fraction positive or negative. Now this is the case 3 and here let n be a fraction positive or negative. Now let n is equal to p over q where q is a positive integer and p is any integer positive or negative. Now from case 1 which we have discussed earlier As Q is a positive integer, so cos theta by Q plus iota sine theta by Q whole raised to power Q is equal to cos theta plus iota sine theta. As from the first result, we are having cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n is equal to cos n theta plus iota sin n theta. Now taking qth root of both sides we get cos theta by q plus iota sin theta by q the whole is one of the values of cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power 1 by 2. Now cos theta plus iota sine theta whole raised to power n is equal to now we have taken n is equal to p by q so it will become cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power p by q which is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power p the whole raised to power 
1 by Q. And this is equal to Now, in this case, we have taken P as a positive or a negative integer. So, we will apply the case 1 and 2 that we have discussed earlier for the negative and positive integers. And in both the cases, we are getting the same result. So, here, this value will become equal to cos p theta plus iota sin p theta whole raised to power 1 by q. This is by the case 1 and 2. Now in this result which we have obtained earlier, we have got one of the values of cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power 1 by q. Now here, instead of theta, we will write p theta. So now we know that one of the values of cos p theta plus iota sin p theta whole raised to power 1 by q is cos p by q theta plus iota sin p by q theta. As n is equal to p by q, so replacing p by q by n we get cos m theta plus iota sin m theta the whole that is replacing p by q by n it will become one of the values of cos p theta plus iota sin p theta whole raised to power 1 by q which is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n. So cos n theta plus iota sin n theta is one of the values of this expression that is of cos theta plus iota sin theta whole raised to power n. Hence, the d minus theorem is completely established for all rational values of n. Now let us discuss some corollaries. Now the corollary 1 is for all values of n that is integral or fractional positive or negative cos n theta minus iota sin n theta is one of the values of cos theta minus iota sin theta whole raised to power n. That is whether n is integral, fractional, positive or negative. Cos n theta minus iota sin n theta is one of the values of cos theta minus iota sin theta whole raised to power n. Now let us discuss the corollary 2. That is 1 over cos theta plus minus iota sin theta is equal to 
cos theta plus minus iota sin theta whole raised to power minus 1 and this is equal to by the Moivre's theorem cos and theta that is cos minus 1 into theta which is cos minus theta plus minus iota sin and theta that is iota sin minus theta which is equal to cos theta as cos minus theta is cos theta and sin minus theta is minus sin theta so this will become minus plus iota sin theta this shows that cos theta plus iota sin theta that is if cos theta plus iota sin theta is equal to z then cos theta minus iota sin theta is equal to 1 by z that means cos theta plus iota sin theta and cos theta minus iota sin theta are reciprocal of each other now let us discuss the next theory and that is sin theta plus iota cos theta can be written as by taking iota common it is iota into 1 by iota into sin theta plus cos theta the whole which is further equal to iota into now 1 by iota is equal to minus iota sin theta plus cos theta the whole which is further equal to iota into cos theta minus iota sin theta the whole which is equal to iota by z if z is equal to cos theta plus iota sin theta now cos theta plus iota sin theta can be abbreviated as cis theta where C stands for cos I for iota and S for sine. and cos minus theta plus iota sine minus theta can be written as cis minus theta therefore cis theta 1 into cis theta 2 is equal to now cis theta 1 can be written as cos theta 1 plus iota sin theta 1 the whole into cis theta 2 is cos theta 2 plus iota sin theta 2 the whole which is further equal to cos theta 1 plus theta 2 the whole plus iota sin theta 1 plus theta 2 the whole which can be again abbreviated as cis theta 1 plus theta 2 the whole now cis theta 1 over cis theta 2 is equal to now cis theta 1 is equal to cos theta 1 plus iota sin theta 1 all upon cis theta 2 is cos theta 2 plus iota sin theta 2 now rationalizing that is multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of denominator this is equal to cos theta 2 minus iota sin theta 2 over cos theta 2 minus iota sin theta 2 now in the denominator by multiplying we get cos square theta 2 plus sin square theta 2 as iota square is minus 1 so in the denominator cos square theta 2 plus sin square theta 2 will become 1 and in the numerator we get 
cos theta 1 plus iota sin theta 1 the whole into cos theta 2 minus iota sin theta 2 the whole. Whole upon 1. Now this is equal to cos theta 1 plus iota sin theta 1 the whole into cos minus theta 2 plus iota sin minus theta 2 the whole as cos minus theta 2 is equal to cos theta 2 and sin minus theta 2 is equal to minus sin theta 2. Now this is equal to cos theta 1 minus theta 2 the whole plus iota sin theta 1 minus theta 2 the whole which can be written as cis theta 1 minus theta 2 the whole. Now cis theta 1 over cis theta 2 is equal to cis theta 1 minus theta 2 the whole. And iota can be written as cos pi by 2 as cos pi by 2 is 0 plus iota into sin pi by 2 as sin pi by 2 is 1. So this is of the form 0 plus iota which is equal to iota. Now further this form we written as cis pi by 2. So minus iota can be written as cis minus pi by 2. As iota can be written as cis pi by 2. So minus iota can be written as cis minus pi by 2. So in this session you have learned about the d theorem. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.